My name's Phil Vines. I'm Simone Vines. We run uh, 280 cows. In Simpson, South West Victoria. On 120 hectares. <laughs> We already had um, sort of drawn up some plans for a herringbone dairy and we actually went to the bank manager to talk about that and he said to us, I think that the two of you should look at a robotic milking system. I think like many people, we just assumed it was out of reach for us, that it was some sort of luxury. And when we looked at the price and looked at what it would have cost us to build a brand new conventional dairy, there wasn't a lot of difference at all. And I think we were quite surprised at that. When we put in the robots, um, I was an office girl, I had an office job, and um, there was just something about this system that uh, changed me. <laughs> I um, left my job and now I own a pair of gumboots and I potter around the farm all day, seven days a week. I just love the system. And the biggest change for me, apart from giving up my day job, was that we eat breakfast together as a family and then we put the kids on the school bus and then we start our farming day at 8.30. Now I'm off a farm, I never had that with my dad and I love that our kids get to see their dad every morning. The transition into the AMS system was really quite seamless. Um, I suppose to start with, I didn't have any expectations. Uh, you know, I, I wasn't going to throw them in there and expect great things straight up. Um, we took our time, and it was quite slow at the start, but they took it up a lot quicker than than um, a lot of people expected. I think the information that we receive enables us to do a better job, uh, and. I suppose it supports us doing a better job and we know what areas to correct and steer the ship. For me, I like the milkings per day, the litres per cow and the milk solids per day. We've seen uh, a 15% uh, increase in production since we started and that's been under some pretty challenging situations with milk price and the weather. So the fact that there's a 15% increase, we kind of have to put down to the robots. I think one of the most valuable tools uh, with, with the system is, uh, is the rumination that uh, can tell me when a cow is not feeling well very early before she stops moving with the herd and our veterinary costs have decreased significantly. 20%, mm. yeah. I think the, the labour and the time, the time saved not physically uh, milking cows um, is soaked up by doing a better job around the farm. But you're also not um, attached to that 5am and 3pm. So you have that flexibility of, yeah. I'll just go into the kids hockey match or whatever it is, and then I'll come back and do that later. Like it's so much more flexible. Um, it's, it's a lot more exciting now because of the information we get and you can fine tune it and you can really, you can really drift off on a tangent mm. with any of that information. I think it'll be more attractive to the next generation, I hope. I, I see the AMS system as uh, the dairy industry evolving. Every other industry has evolved to be more efficient uh, and do a better job um, and I believe that this is daring catching up, or milk harvesting catching up. Yeah. I think, you know, a small pasture-based farm in Australia with a mum and dad, this is the perfect farm, the perfect milking system. Mm. After three years with an AMS system, I certainly wouldn't consider building a traditional uh, parlour. <laughs> and I would still be at my office job.